Welcome everyone to another video and it's finally channel update time. Yes, it is time for me to announce new content and to thank you guys for all of your support. Uh, 12, over 1200 subscribers. That, that is amazing. It's all I can say is it's amazing. I never really thought I'd get this far. And I know it's only 1200, but 1200 is a, a pretty big achievement, achievement in, the, in the YouTube world. So I really thank you guys and I thank everyone who shared my videos and supported me. I know there's some comments that, you know, people who really don't like the way I do my videos, but you know what? That's that's their loss in my mind. You know, I try to please everybody, but you really can't please everyone. So, but continue your feedback, guys. I love it. I, and, and that's really what this video is going to be about today. Trying to fulfill your guys' needs and a lot of the feedback I've received on my channel and hopefully make it even better. And I really think you're going to enjoy it. So, uh, but before we get started with that, I'm hopefully going to keep doing videos quite frequently but however I have just started a full-time position um, so that that's obviously gonna take up a lot of my time so please be patient guys when it comes to releasing videos I'm going to release videos I'm not going away so just be patient I, I really would appreciate that and and so yeah that's I'm just gonna leave it at that because it's pretty much all I can say so channel content and changes to come all right so getting started here we open up word 2016 here and we see the max cyber defense testing criteria and as you can see right off the bat we have video one two and three we're gonna be breaking these videos down into three different parts so we're gonna test one product three different videos first one is gonna be how to configure and uh, how to install and configure the product for the novice user, for people who really don't know how what they're doing and they want to make sure their program is installed and configured properly, I'm going to be going ahead and making videos on that. For those of you who really don't care and are techies like me and just want to see the nuts and bolts and how to secure your computer, um, well, you can watch the end of that video or you can then move right along to see how well the program did security-wise. Um, so that's really what that video is about. And then we got the video three, which is the removal analysis, which you guys have seen with Malwarebytes and Bitdefender so far, but more videos are to come because I'm going to be testing each anti-malware product with this criteria right here. So digging a little deeper into each video and what it's going to offer you. Okay, into the installation slash configuration of the product. You're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and show the size of the installer, whether it's a download or a regular file installer. I'm gonna show that. We're going to install the product using custom settings, or the settings that I feel are going to be the most secure without seriously impinging on usability of the system. Because obviously with any security product, you really can secure the system to the point where it's almost unusable, or is unusable, and you're getting pop-ups left and right about legitimate programs, but that's not feasible. All right. So we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be just changing a few settings here and there that could make the program a little bit better than what it comes from the factory. So. If you guys have any different opinions on there, uh, let me know. But for the most part, that's really what I kind of decided right now. Uh, now I did list down here on video two. Oh, actually, let me finish this here quick. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and then after we basically, we're gonna go through the interface, introduce the uh, buttons, functions, stuff like that, introduce new features from the previous version. And then we're going to change settings to make the program as secure as possible, like I said, without impinging too much on the usability of it. Then we're going to move on to the zero day and web threat analysis. Now, I'm still kind of up in arms whether I'm going to completely default back to the recommended settings or I'm going to go ahead and use my custom settings. I think I might go ahead and set up a poll on my Google Plus page and if I do I'll post a link in the description and ask you guys whether you want me to use my custom settings that I do in the configuration video or if you want me to use recommended settings as if it just came from the factory. Um, I'm probably gonna lean more towards the custom settings that I've did because I just feel that would be more of an accurate and more fluid in the sense of making these videos flow much better. So I'm gonna probably do that but if you guys have any serious doubts or any not really doubts but concerns with that um, go ahead and uh, voice your concerns within the poll and let me know. So, um, then moving on here, we're going to run 10 malicious URLs from the following uh, web address from the websites right here uh, that contain malware. And that should answer some of your questions uh, that I'm getting about where I get my malware. So, 
But keep in mind, do not use this for any criminal activity, and I am not going to be responsible for any uses of criminal activity because it is highly illegal, guys. Don't do it. So just a little disclaimer right there. Only use it for testing. That's it. All. Do not share it. Do not do anything stupid with it. It will infect your computer if you don't have adequate protection and safeguards in place, and I have made a video on that. So, moving on, um, we're going to make sure that Process Explorer is open and visible. Notice I'll have this in the red because I always seem to forget it. Uh, we're going to show basically which ones are blocked and missed uh, using Notepad or some sort of uh, processing word processing program that can make text visible and show us a progress of our test. Then we're going to go ahead and after that we're going to run a scan with the program using the recommended scan setting or a threat scan with um, well, Malwarebytes then and Norton Power Racer, Hitman Pro. Notice I've introduced Norton Power Racer. It's an extra set of signatures that I think hopefully will detect a little bit more in the sense of malware missed by Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, and obviously Hitman Pro uses multiple signatures in the cloud. So that's really nice, uh, I think, testing control that we have right there. Some tools to, to see what's actually on the system, if anything is. And here comes the mother of all portions of this video right here. How good is the detection rate on the zero day portion? And I know I kind of always hemmed and hawed and was like, ah, you know, is that good? Is that bad? So I decided to create a scale here on what I think is good, bad, and just atrocious. So obviously we got 92 to 100, which I would say is outstanding. 85 to 91, that's in the very good category. And as you move farther down to basically 65, 69, you start getting below average to the point where that's not really that good. You better hope that the behavior blockers in the program are capable of protecting your system because you really cannot count on that antivirus to do so, or anti, or yeah, antivirus to do so. Then obviously you get in the poor, very poor category, and 20 to 51 percent, and you can see the very wide range right there. It's just really not acceptable at all in any ways. So if you notice how the range up here is very, very small, and then gradually kind of starts towards the end to really tail off, and then zero to 19 percent is seriously. I mean, if you're that low in your detection rate, you should not even be in the antivirus industry, quite honestly, because that is horrible, absolutely horrible unless you have some like astronomical behavioral analysis module that is just capable of owning every piece of malware out there uh, please let me know where it is because I would love that the closest thing I found was defense plus by Komodo so far but even that's not perfect so then we get to video three the removal process and I think I'm gonna break this down in two different sections within that one video we're going to start out with the novice removal attempt. And what that's going to consist of is attempting to install the program in a highly infected environment where running Windows in a normal mode, meaning basically you push the power button, turn it on, you pop in the disk of your antivirus software. And in fact, I don't even think it comes on disks anymore. I think last time I checked at Office Max, you have to buy like keys and download it. So it's probably what we're going to end up doing is just basically you download the application, you install it on the system, and you see if it can remove the malware. Basically, that's it. Pretty simple. If that, if that succeeds, we're going to go ahead and run a scan using the recommended actions. Um, whatever it recommends for doing a scan, we're going to do it. Otherwise, we're going to default to a full system scan just because that makes the most logical sense if your system's infected. Uh, if the app fails to launch completely, it cannot be NUC certified or novice user certified. I know the name might sound kind of corny. If you guys come up with anything better, let me know. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm horrible at coming up with names, and I do like my acronyms for some weird reason. Uh, then basically, we're going to proceed after that if that fails to the techie attempt. If the novice user, if it passes the novice user certification test, we're going to basically remove any threats found on the system, and then we're going to run Hitman Pro and Norton Power Racer and see what it finds on the system. If it obviously fails to be novice user certified, we are going to proceed to the techie attempt right away in a sense we're going to pretty much use any means necessary making sure we're still within the limits of the application and not using any third-party applications to go into the system and now what I mean by within the application is we can still use rescue disks anything by the manufacturer so if I go 
to their website and search malware and removal and they have a tool from the manufacturer that we're testing a different product from we can go ahead and I'll use that but as for let's say if I'm testing um, a vast on the system I can't go ahead and grab a Kaspersky rescue disk it that no that, that's just not gonna happen because now you're using a third-party application to clean up a system and then that's just really what's the point of testing any further if the application can't remove the system can't clean it up well it failed it, it's done it's failed so um, after that obviously you try to go into safe mode if that uh, basically the tools that the manufacturer provides really don't work try safe mode as a last ditch effort most malware can be shut down by that but probably not going to work if it's that serious of an infection and then obviously if we get into safe mode perform a system scan and attempt to remove any malware found basically if these scans do not reduce the malware in the system significantly or the scans fail entirely the program is basically a failure uh, that might be harsh but remember guys not all programs are designed for malware removal a lot of them are designed just for prevention and I think that's this these tests are really gonna open the, up that door in a sense of revealing which programs are really good at removing malware and which programs are not good at removing malware from a system so prevention removal they're two different things all right guys you got to remember that so that's why we're doing these tests right here and then as you see right down here we have techie tips oh yes techie tips Huh, do I I don't even really know what I want to put on here yet but I kind of thought of the name and I thought it kind of sounded cool and I really think that kind of making some um, what is it videos on just some general applications not maybe not even security related just general applications that may make your everyday life easier uh, kind of make your system perform better or, or just something in general that I think is cool and that you guys might think is cool as, as techies so yeah, I still don't really know, and they're probably what I'm going to do or criteria, but I'm probably just going to do it from the seat of my pants in the sense of make a video, you know, and whatever happens, happens in the video, and that's pretty much going to be it. It's going to be lighthearted, not official, just here you go, guys. I found this program online. I think it's kick ass. Here's what it does. Boom, done, easy. Kind of entertaining, too, maybe, hopefully. We'll find out. So, yeah, if you guys want to see something in Techie Tips, uh, let me know. Um, I know I keep telling you guys, oh, we're going to respond here, or do this and that, and I know my comments have gotten backed up. I almost have 30 freaking comments or notifications. I should say I logged on to my YouTube just a couple minutes ago, and man, yeah, I got to start answering comments pretty soon, but I really wanted to get this video made and put out because I know I promised you guys uh, an update video soon, and I just want to let you guys know that I'm still here, still going to be testing, still on YouTube, just bear with me, be patient. I will keep releasing videos so um, yes and then you're probably thinking too well this is our great criteria right here but couldn't you do like a little write-up or something on the, each malware application and I've been getting so many requests on people asking me oh which application is better do you think this one's good do you think that one's good so I figured what better way to do that than to basically make a summary of each application and I had something written up years ago basically back when I kind of first made my my first video here like I think I was on a vast and Komodo and stuff like that like for instance the Komodo sandbox demonstration when I had my old Dell E310 yeah, I think it was slow um, so yeah basically I had some anti-malware reports I called them made up and I kind of switched them up just a little bit but for the most part they're the same I just added my logo and I think that's pretty much it I really don't think I oh yeah and I changed this to protection modules yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is going to be the uh, anti-malware test report that I'm going to be releasing for basically each anti-malware application tested. And it's kind of a really easy, hopefully hopefully easy to understand report that gives you a good baseline information and then also gives you a summary right here at the end for the novice user. You know, how did the program perform? Did it, go did it do good? Did it do bad? What, what, are, what is my final verdict on the program? So it's got a whole bunch of information hopefully you guys enjoy it and I have it on the Google Drive here associated with my page I will paste the link in to my to the Google Drive within my YouTube uh, within this video and you guys can then go ahead and click on the 2015 folder and you'll go ahead and be able to see all of the applications tested so 
um, and I will also then go ahead and post each um, basically report on the video that uh, it's associated with. So you guys can go ahead right in the description, click on that if you want, and if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can go ahead and basically just click on the report here and get a summary of how well the program performed on the system. April 25th, wow, that was quite a long time ago. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. A uh, 15 minute video on the channel update I think is pretty good. A lot of, lot of information. Um, I'll go ahead and um, I think I mentioned that post, that, post a poll on my Google Plus page whether you guys want me to test with default settings, completely default for all the videos, or if you want me to test the uh, web and zero day, like I said, with um, the, the, the customized settings that I did in the install and configuration video. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys once again. Everybody who subscribed to my channel, continue to please share my videos, like them, subscribe, everybody. That, that Awesome, awesome. So that's going to be it. I'm going to stop babbling now. And I will talk to you guys later and see you in the next installation and configuration video, hopefully sometime soon. But like I said, no guarantees. So, all right. Talk to you guys later.